today. We're only eating New York's most iconic breakfast sandwich, the bacon, egg, and cheese. We'll show you some of the best spots in the city to try it and some interesting variations on the classic. And joining me for this food adventure, two fellow New Yorkers. We've got Ben and Ming from the Bing Buzz. All right, we're starting off the video at Eastway Gourmet, just your typical New York bodega. And Ben, we would call this the, the working man's breakfast, right? Working man? Yeah, I think so. I've done a lot of night shifts, and every time I see the sunrise, I just couldn't wait for that bacon, egg, and cheese with an overly sweet coffee. Beautiful. Let's do it. Some argue it's a bodega if it's two aisles and a deli if it's three. Oh, morning. Morning. Could we do a two bacon, egg, and cheeses on a roll? Uh, ketchup for ketchup? Ketchup. Ketchup, yeah. <laughs> Breakfast for champions. What a start to the day. We've got the classic bacon, egg, and cheese. So we've got bacon, American cheese, I think two scrambled eggs inside of a Kaiser roll. It doesn't get much more traditional than this in the city. I gotta say, they give a generous amount of bacon and the eggs. And we all added ketchup. I know that's controversial. Tell <laughs> us in the comments, would you put ketchup on a bacon, egg, and cheese? I say yes, as long as it's on a roll. I play a safe, that's why I get the ketchup on the side. This deli's been around for a long time. So let's see how this does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, everything is so perfectly balanced in this. I'm telling you, like everything, the amount of bacon, cheese, egg, just right. Maybe because you brought the camera person in, that's why they cooked you up with so much bacon and eggs. Yeah. Because it never had this much bacon, egg, and cheese in one sandwich. They didn't know we were coming, but yeah, I think they might have gotten <laughs> a little bit more generous. This is honestly like two sandwich worth of bacon and eggs. So we can't confirm if they usually give this much bacon, but tell them you saw them on the video. Maybe they'll be nice too. Yeah, but I'm not complaining though. And the roll is like so nice and soft. And the fact they have so much protein just enhances the sandwich so much more. You never see a bacon, egg, and cheese where the egg and the bacon is thicker than the bread itself. This is really good. Amazing with ketchup. And John said that he prefers bagels, but I prefer things on a roll. Rolls are easier to eat, it's smaller, so you get more of the meat inside. This actually may be one of the best bacon, egg, and cheese I've randomly got from a bodega in like a really long time. I'm telling you, they hooked it up. Now you're saying this thing is stacked, but it's not on the Aki Way level where he's oh, got no. the honey <laughs> bun and like 50 other things which we've shown in another video before. I will eat the Aki Way bacon, egg, and cheese though. Aki Way is still number one for me, but that, that's indulgent, that's a little crazy. You want to come to New York get an everyday breakfast? This is it. It makes you feel badass after eating it, trust me. I mean, I gotta admit, this is also the perfect food, as you said, for somebody in the morning who's working. You just take this and walk and eat it. I remember those night shifts where I wake up at 4 a.m. As soon as the sunlight peeks in, I'm like, a nice bacon, egg, and cheese, a small coffee, and some sunlight for some extra serotonin, it'll wake me up. <laughs> this is easier to walk and eat with than, let's say, a slice of pizza. I did a little research, and the bacon, egg, and cheese originated in the 1800s, and then towards the Industrial Revolution, became more popular in the United States. Then 1950s fast food culture became huge in the US. So if you want to do something super American for breakfast, like this is it. And a super New York. Ben, would you say skip the hotel breakfast and order this from a bodega? 100%. Why would you get the continental breakfast? You're in New York. It's true. That breakfast is one thing in this city that you actually can find pretty cheap. We've got Tompkins Square Bagels, one of the city's best, and one of their three locations. Ming, are you in the mood for a unique bacon, egg, and cheese here? Always, I'm so ready. All right, let's check this out. It's a Sunday morning, a popular New York bagel spot. Very crowded. It's a conveyor belt of bacon, egg, and cheese right here. I love it. That's an impressive production line. <laughs> <laughs> Want to get two bacon, egg, and cheeses, one on a sesame bagel and one on a French toast bagel? Do you want your bagel so No, that's it. Can I have any more? John. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Ming, I don't know if you can handle this. Oh, wow, it's like 50 pounds. Insider tip, head over to Union Square after Tompkins Square Bagels. Nice spot to enjoy. Two bacon, egg, and cheeses on a sesame bagel and a French toast bagel. Sesame is my classic choice. You ever had a French toast bagel before? First time trying French toast bagel. I usually get the everything bagel with lox, so this is different. Very different, but every bagel shop in the city, you can get a bacon, egg, and cheese. This is my preferred method of eating this. Let's try it out. Cheers. Cheers. Even though this has less bacon than the last spot, I think they gave my bacon to Ming. This is fantastic. I love their bagels so much. Definitely one of my top five in the city. Nice and fluffy, don't think you need it toasted. And then the generous portion of egg and cheese on top of the salty bacon. I mean, this is a, a great breakfast sandwich as far as I'm concerned. Mine is sweet and salty and soft and warm. It's 
really good. Do you like that mix of the sweet and the salty at the same time? How does that work for you? I'm a sweet girl, but also I love salty. So this is great. I get everything. And something interesting about Tompkins Square Bagels is they're really well known throughout the city for their wild flavors. We've had birthday cake bagels before there. They've got rainbow bagels. If you can think of it with the cream cheeses, they have a lot of funky stuff. So if you find something like this boring, you've got to check out Tompkins Square. But for a bacon, egg, and cheese, this is tough to go wrong. This is more filling, I'll say. Oh, for sure. This is going to fill you up for the whole morning if you do it with a bagel. Mm -hmm. You want to try bagel in New York, and you want to have like a full breakfast, bacon, egg, and cheese on a bagel, two birds with one stone. Mm -hmm. That's true. New York, New York. New York times New York. The bacon, egg, and cheese on a roll, that was breakfast, but this one is brunch. You're right, you got French toast. Mm -hmm. You got all your main brunch ingredients in one. It's really hearty. It's always reassuring when you get the bagel from the right places too. That's so true. What do you think of the French toast flavor, by the way? You ever had something like that before? Uh, <laughs> honestly, I prefer the regular bacon egg and cheese on the road. Yeah, the bagel's fuller, it's heavier flavor. It does overpower a little bit the bacon egg and cheese, I will say, but for someone like me who's a bagel lover, this is the way I prefer to do it. But, you know, to each their own. You do have to work for it. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta work for it a little bit. A lot of biting. Guys, by the way, if you enjoy watching Ben and Ming as much as I enjoy having them on the channel, check out their YouTube. They do food adventures just like this all the time in New York. Subscribe down below. Yeah, I want to get two of the uh, the Chinatown egg and cheese sandwiches, both with bacon. We've got Golden Diner, which is a social media sensation. We couldn't even get a reservation at this spot, so we're taking this super unique bacon egg and cheese to go. What are you, what are you thinking about this? You know, we're fans of Chinese food, we're fans of bacon, egg, and cheese. But I honestly don't know what's expected in this one. All right, let's show you the inside of this place. It's really interesting. What, what vibes do you get? It's very lively diner, but also a little Asian fusion vibe. That looks like a Burger. We got the Chinatown egg and cheese sandwich with bacon, 17 bucks. Soft scrambled eggs, American cheese, a hash brown patty served on a sesame scallion milk bun. Oh, that's a lot of egg. It's a big boy right here. This is uh, definitely the biggest bacon, egg and cheese of the day and probably the prettiest one as well. Yeah, that's a lot of fluffy eggs. I've got to give them credit on the eggs. Like a lot of attention went into this. It's also $17, John. It costs five times as much as a regular bacon, egg and cheese. What does the Aki Way bacon, egg and cheese cost? About oh, 17 man. bucks now as well. This Maybe. is tied for the most expensive bacon, egg and cheese in the city, I think. Wow. But we'll live up to the hype. I mean, they told me two hour waits on weekends for brunch. I don't know if I'd wait two hours. Make a reservation if you want to come here. All right, let's take a bite and we'll, we'll discuss what we got going on here. Ready? Let's go. Let's do it. Mmm. This is just bringing like different textures and flavors to the mix that you don't think about with a bodega, bacon, egg, and cheese, like how soft the milk bun is, the hash brown on top, which, you know, this is different. There was no hash brown on anything else. Even the eggs being super fluffy, this is incredible. I know it's a bad comparison, but I do like putting hash brown in my McDonald's McGriddle. So this kind of makes me think of it a little bit. This is gonna sound crazy. Do you think this is too decadent for bacon, egg, and cheese? Yes and no. I wouldn't mind it at all, actually. <laughs> if I'm waiting two hours inside at this diner, I think I would order this. And the scallion taste is actually pretty pungent, pretty strong, in a good way. Yeah, no, it's, it's all super balanced. Yeah. And apparently, they pick up these milk buns fresh every single day from a Chinatown bakery. Yeah. Usually, sweetness wouldn't be a part of your bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich, but the bun itself has a hint of sweetness to it, which yeah. is really good. Actually, probably less sweet than the French toast bagel, too. Actually, that's true. Usually, a roll just carbs you add to your bacon, egg, and cheese, but this one is something you should really enjoy. What do you think about the idea behind this, like a fusion Chinese, Asian diner? Like, diners are dying out in the city. I think this is probably a right way to do it. Um, this is a way to get young people interested in diners again. Exactly. Hip new restaurants and pop-up shops. Foresight, Fire Escape, Scallion Pancake, Wrap Burrito. It's like all very unique, innovative ideas around food. So I think this is the way to go. It's more popular for brunch to order avocado toast. I think this is a unique way to bring bacon, egg, and cheese back into the picture at a diner. Yeah, I wouldn't be too proud of myself eating an avocado toast in the public, but this one you could be eating proudly. Nobody wants to watch that video. We're not making <laughs> that video. That's too healthy for this channel. <laughs> I just feel like they've ele they've elevated most of the basic ingredients. Just Turned, drop a dollar worth of egg. I just dropped a dollar's worth of egg right there. When we talk about trends, I think this is a trend in New York, just elevating basic food items and turning them into something like this. I eat this every day if I win the lottery. Oh. Ah! I dropped another two dollars. Oh my god. <laughs> Look. This is delicious. I love the hash browns. This is delicious. Eggs are so fluffy. 
It was really good. Would you pay 17 bucks for it though? Is it that good? I would pay for it, but I'd never wait two hours for it. I would pay for this if I had a reservation and we were eating indoors. I just think this is too nice to walk and eat on the street because every little egg you drop is a buck right there. <laughs> so yes, I would definitely pay for this inside. This is by far the tastiest bacon, egg, and cheese of the day, but it's also no contest because of the ingredients. Yeah, the hash brown really elevates it so much. Love it. Crunchy, and then the eggs are soft, and you don't need ketchup for this. No, you definitely do not no. need ketchup. What do you think about that with New York, that you, that you could find like every type of bacon, egg, and cheese imaginable? We went from bodega to bagel spot to expensive diner action. Oh, we're blessed. New York's the best. I love New York. You know what could make this one better? Be right back. What? <laughs> it is, Sean. Yo, that's what I Oh, this, this was the missing link here. <laughs> Not a coffee in Arizona. Amazing. I'm gonna enjoy this with the rest of the sandwich. Yeah, it might just to. be the ultimate New York City brunch. $17 bacon, egg, and cheese, 99 cent Arizona. Average is out. Now that you know about New York's most famous breakfast sandwich, what about New York's most traditional breakfast? In this video here, we're gonna take you to some of the city's best bagel spots. Watch this video next.